Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel. My name's Scott and I'm happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here and I hope you're happy that I'm here too. Today everyone, I got a request from a, uh, one of our, one of our uh, cherished viewers and I'd like to uh, work on uh, the request of um, maybe, might, and perhaps, I'm gonna put in probably and likely as well. So thanks for watching everybody and if you do have any uh, requests or anything you'd like to, to learn in this channel, um, don't hesitate and please let us know by uh, request and comment below. Thanks very much. And this, um, I'd like to work on um, maybe and might and may. Now first, let me put up maybe, uh, which is an adverb, okay? And it's one word as well. So just a simple sentence is gonna be right here as well. Um, maybe he's interested. Maybe is one word there. Maybe he's interested. Now, I can also put maybe as two words, but it's going to be change the grammar in this case, may as being a modal verb and be being a be verb. So I can also say he may be interested. Okay, it has no change in the meaning there, but the, the grammatical structure changes. So maybe he's interested. Notice that maybe comes at the front and he, so as the subject, may be interested, but there's no really difference in the meanings at all. I just wanted to put that in as well. That wasn't requested, but I thought it might be pretty valuable to learn. So, may be as the adverb and may be as the modal verb and the be verb, okay? Now, also perhaps came up as well. So what's the difference between maybe and perhaps? Nothing, really. If anything, perhaps may be a little bit more formal. In more formal language or usage, perhaps may be, use may be there too, perhaps is a little more formal than maybe. But and also perhaps can kind of go not just the beginning. Maybe he's going to be in the beginning. Maybe he's interested. Okay. Perhaps he's interested. Um, he's perhaps interested as possible too. So perhaps has a little more flexibility as far as placement in the sentence. But there's no difference really between uh, maybe and perhaps in meaning and just perhaps maybe a little bit more formal. Okay. Now I want to put in there as well as might. Now, might is the past tense of may, but it's not only used in the past tense. So he may be interested, equally fine as he might be interested. They don't ref might here does not refer to the past at all. Might refers to the, the present or the future, um, but it's just equally fine. I would not say that might is more formal than may, pretty much they're on equal terms. So he may be interested, he might be interested, perhaps he's interested, and maybe he's interested. Now this, the, uh, the, the, the valued uh, um, viewer of this, of this channel also asked about probably as well. Now probably is gonna be a little higher in percentage. Uh, percentage, I mean, the likelihood of it happening. So, um, I keep the same form of interested. So he's probably interested. That means the likelihood is quite high. He's probably interested. That is higher than he may be interested. He may be interested, I'm gonna put right here. He's probably interested, I'm gonna put up here. Now you could also say probably he's interested. You can, a little more flexibility with probably as well. Um, so where maybe is the uh, adverb, maybe he's interested, and probably is also an adverb, probably he's interested, or he is probably interested. Now another word that also will work here is likely. Probably and likely will probably, probably you're not using the same adverb again. Let's keep it at the same level. So he's probably interested, he's likely interested, pretty much it's the same, at the same rate of, um, probability, whereas may, maybe and maybe and perhaps is going to be lower than that, okay? So I'll say he may be interested and I'll say maybe he's interested, perhaps he's interested and I'm going to raise the bar, he's probably interested, he's likely interested in this project, okay? So probably go higher than perhaps and maybe. So pretty much you can use perhaps and maybe interchangeably, they're fine. If anything, perhaps maybe just a little bit more formal. They're both good for spoken English, whether it's casually said or formally said. Okay, everybody? 
And the um, uh, student who has, uh, has written in with this request, thanks very much for requesting and uh, thanks very much for watching. And that goes out to all of you. Thank you very much for watching. Any requests and anything you'd like to work on in grammar, pronunciation, anything at all, do not hesitate. Please uh, send us your comments and requests. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back here again soon. Until then, have a great day.